Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be experimenting with some liquid latex. So I think I said that right, latex. Anyways, you know what I mean, the tutorial, this isn't a tutorial because guys I'm not very good at this but I've got some latex here, some tissue paper, some fake blood like to spray on top and then I've got like my makeup because I'm going to be doing basically like a gruesome makeup look so today is actually Halloween so this is like Halloween inspired I also have my mirror so I'm actually not going out anywhere so I haven't actually got a costume but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my makeup creepy so yeah um, before we get started, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I don't know why that's so weird. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below what your favourite thing about Halloween is. And click the grey bell so you get notified whenever I post. I post on a Tuesday and a Saturday, but just in case there's any complications, click the bell so you get notified if I post any extra videos. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to bring you in a bit closer so you can see my face. Okay, so I've got this liquid latex i think this is actually kind of nice this close maybe i should do my all my videos this close but yeah my hair's just been curled from ages ago so it's like kind of girly kind of not but yeah so this is from the pound shop it says it was two pound but it was actually reduced to half price so it was only 50p so let's get this out um just want to do a disclaimer as i said already but i'm not actually a professional or anything i'd never used this before this is my first time using it so yeah it's not a tutorial or anything i've obviously used fake blood before um this is my fake blood move that to the side and then i've got my makeup this is only some of my makeup because i've got like loads but yeah i've got my mirror but i'm probably just going to use that so i'm going to put my mirror down here and then if i need it i can always get it Comment down below guys if you prefer my camera this zoomed in or like back. Well not zoomed in, just close. So I also got some of my makeup palettes. So I've got this giant one because it's got like some darker shades in this corner and like around the bottom that I can use. And then I got a couple of my Revolution palettes like... Um, this one has like blacks and browns. I obviously want to use like the blush. Well, I said blush, that's what it's called I think. Um, I can use like ground, fog and camphor. And then this one which also has like a black with a big glitter back and like some dark out with some shades. Because what I want to do is I want to do like a cut along there and like a cut along my cheek. So, but I feel like I need to put the foundation on, the foundation on after I've done it. So I think we should start with the liquid latex. I'm kind of scared to do this though. So it's got the instructions here. Guys, so I've got a bit of an idea how to do it now. So I need a hairband because I don't want to get any in my hair. And yes, so... Let's get started. So I'm going to bring you closer again because I don't know why you're so far away. Okay guys, so you're a bit closer to me now. So because what I'm going to do is put a foundation on after because I want to like try. So when I wash it, they did use cotton, but I'm just going to use toilet roll because I saw some other people using toilet roll and on the sticker thing it says to do toilet roll. So yes, I'm going to first of all get a piece of toilet roll. Literally, you don't even need that much. That's not what I meant. So I just got some like this, and I'm gonna put the latex on, and then this is a bit big, so I'm only gonna do a small cut first of all. So I'm gonna put that on there, like there, and then I can cover that in latex. And what you have to do is you have to like kind of do that bit up, and that bit flat, and then what you do is you put some on the other side. So first of all, I need to have like a complete flat layer there, and then a complete flat layer next to it. So oh. She used, I'm going to use a sponge to do, to do this, so I'm going to put my little piece there and grab my sponge. It stinks. Is it horse freezing? I don't know how long it takes to dry, so hopefully it takes a, a bit of time to dry, otherwise I won't be able to have time to like actually stick it on. Oh, and by the way guys, I've never had this latex stuff on, my, on me before. I need a bit more. I 
and then apparently after this, so you stick your fill tissue or whatever on. No, 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 you need to go higher up like that. That is not straight. Remember, guys, I'm not a pro this in the tutorial. And then you need to get a bit more and just go over the top. So this side, we want this side to be flat. Because that's the side that's going to blend into your skin. I have to keep closing this and shaking it so that it gets some more of it to the top. But this one needs to be like flat. That bit and that bit. This stuff actually stinks. I need the bottom to stick down, but I need this bit to stick up. And then we need to put this piece like there. No. It needs to be like attached to that bit. And then we need to only stick down one side of it. so weird so I'm gonna wait for that to dry a bit and once I do that I'm gonna grab a little bit and I saw this thing where on the packet it said if you pull your skin taut you can make your skin look wrinkly so let's make this bit here look wrinkly or should we do it with my head no this bit here I'll probably get back to you guys once it's dry so guys I'm gonna see if I have a red in here um in this planet planet palette um why can't I open this I can never open this palette not plan it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's no red in here. We can make this work. So I'm going to open this and see what brush I have. Eyeshadow brush, which is like this. So let's take everything else, put everything else to the side. So um, if you've got this palette, you can do it, obviously. So um, I'm probably just going to take some of that brown shade right there. So I'm just going to put that on my lap. Because it's not shimmery, it's just plain. It's like a brownie shade. And then I'll take some of the ready brownie shades after as well. So if I just... Okay guys, I think this will be easier if I do use my mirror. Wow, I was about to say, oh I think my face is bleeding, so it must be good. See what I mean right there? This might be easier to do once I put my foundation on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put some foundation around it and then blend the foundation into my face obviously because otherwise it won't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my foundation all over my face so that so that you can't tell the difference as much. So I'll be back to you once I've done that. This is what my face is looking like at the moment. Remember, I do remember that I actually have got latex there, so I want to see what it looks like once I've put that bit of my lips really itchy. Once I put my foundation on, see if it looks any different. Well, we're lucky it's Halloween, eh? Because I look a bit like a ghost. This like foundation makes doesn't it's not really thick enough, but then it's too thick at the same time, and I don't know if you understand what I mean. So why I put the you can't see it on camera really, but where I put the latex there is like it hasn't blended as much, it's kind of dark. This is what my cut's looking like. I'm gonna add some more red inside. Gap. So let's put that over there.
like really dark bronzer because I feel like that will make me look oh my god that's the darkest thing I've ever done but I mean it is meant to be kind of dark That's way too low, but I can't really see what I'm doing because of the, the latex. But I feel like mermaids have that like dark line there anyways. So I wanted to do that kind of thing where you do the scales, but I don't have anything which is like that. So we just don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do my eyeshadow because I'm like meant to be like a mermaid, I need to, but I want to do like a dead mermaid. So I need to do like, I'm going to do like some purples and reds. So I feel like that will look good. Crease. And remember guys, I'm not very good at this, so don't, I probably wouldn't copy. Because if you copy, you'll probably, you'll probably, yours will probably look better than mine. The camera makes me look completely different. Let me have a look in my mirror. I look even worse in the mirror, to be honest. What a surprise. Still did nothing. There we go, that's what I wanted. So we're just gonna have to try and use this. So I might draw like a scar on the top of my head. Grab my mirror. Like this. Why do I look like Frankenstein now though? Or Frankenstein's monster. I just messed that up. Sure. So guys, I added a bit too many. Now it looks a bit stupid. Um. But I mean, there's not really anything we can do about it now. And I'm just gonna do like a little baby scar like here. That is literally what I wanted to do with the other one, but I messed it up. Like that. So it's like, it looks like someone's been counting the days down until I'm gonna die on my head. So then what I'm going to do is over here, I want to make it look like scaly. <gasps> I know. Latex. So I've got a cut here and I'm going to do like scales on this side. remember this is just a testing video so this isn't it obviously doesn't look good that doesn't look good because i was testing it for the first time this bronzery kind of looked in with the cut the cut looks all right doesn't look that good though and then this i'm testing for the first time so it might not actually look good this is just testing look, got my brush so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start off with some like light greeny bluey turquoisey colors and i'm just gonna see what i made a mistake already
ignore my neck because I'm not doing my whole neck blue as well. That actually looks kind of good. I'm now going to go with this blood. So. But I'm kind of scared that this is going to go everywhere. Why is it not coming out? Let me put my lid on and shake it a bit more. Oh no, it's on my finger. Okay, oh, I've got tissue, haven't I? I just need to make sure this doesn't drip onto my bed. And then I'm just going to put this here and spray there. I'm scared it's going to go up an orange. That works. That is the end of the video. I'm sorry, my battery is probably about to go. Not battery, my um, storage is about to run out. But basically, my hair was already curly, so it looks alright. My neck's not the right colour, but you know, my hands look bloody, so it makes it look cooler. The cut kind of got ruined with the fake blood because the fake blood, I thought the fake blood would make it, but it broke it. But I put like some lipstick on my lips and on my nose to make more bloody, and some lipstick in the scars to make this bit look better. But what looks bad is because there's two bits of blood that come from different places and go down. And I tried to make it look like I was crying from like the ends. Um, it didn't really work. The scale thing didn't really work. But you know, today was just testing stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe down below. Um, comment down below what you do, your holiday traditions, like um, Halloween traditions and stuff, what you do every year. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.